I call the Honourable Member Nikki Wagner. Talofa Lava, Mr Speaker. Ah, Talofa Lava. As we've heard from the very um, good Minister of Local Government, Chris Tremaine, this bill amends the Local Government Auckland Council Act 2009 and it enables Auckland's 21 local boards to delegate various functions and powers to committees of the local board or to a council officer. Now, these powers were originally provided by transitional regulations in 2010 after Cabinet agreed that local boards should have the power to delegate, although there are some limitations in terms of local representation and the local board's agreement and for its area and in the management of bylaws. The regulations were an interim measure and they allowed time for a better understanding of local boards' operations to develop, which then could be cemented into amending legislation. We need to pass this bill now because on the 31st of October this year, the transitional powers will expire. Now, the Auckland Council supports this legislation because they believe that the powers to delegate for local boards enables them to operate efficiently and effectively. And the system is working well, so now is the time for legislation rather than further regulation. This legislation will give effect to the present reality. It will provide certainty for the Auckland Council and its local boards, and then local boards will be able to continue their important work. But let me make it clear, this bill does not change anything. It just replicates the current provisions and doesn't add any new policy. Now, national, well, what the point is said, the point is it will replace transitional regulations which will expire at the end of October. Okay. Now, this is part of National's Better Local Government Reforms, a part of a reform and a programme to build a more productive and competitive economy and better public services for New Zealanders. And they're designed to focus councils on operating more efficiently and to help them be more fiscally responsible. Now, the form of Auckland local government was recommended by the Royal Commission on Auckland Governance, and the Royal Commission identified that the regional governments in the area was weak and fragmented and recommended a new structure for Auckland to give it more common identity and purpose. And although it's taken some time for the changes to embed, the reforms have helped the Auckland Council focus on its planning process and on its core role of providing local infrastructure, public services and regulatory functions at least cost to households and businesses. This bill is essential to provide continuing powers for Auckland's local bo boards <coughs> to delegate responsibilities, duties and powers, and it will ensure that the system, which is working well and supported by all levels of local government, can continue to operate. I support this bill to the House. I call the Honourable Mary Ann Street. Thank you very much, Mr. Sp